And we head on down uh -huh. south again to Oak Lawn Park for their opening day the uh, for the Smarty Jones Stakes. Three-year-olds going one mile once play. around now, the Oak Lawn Oval. Let's see how they did in the next race of the Thoroughbred Racing Challenge second. series to the Triple Cowan Crown. And Moonlight Strike. Cowan had to check off of the heels of Hartley Swade, who is unmanageable to the backstretch. No good for Cowan. Martini Blue races at the rail, then Lawlessness, and the early trailer is Big Thorn. To the back stretch they run, and Caddo River cleared the trouble, and he's got the lead to the back stretch, and he strides along two lengths in front of Hardly Swade, who has now settled down a bit in second. Then comes Martini Blue at the rail with Moonlight Strike just outside of him. Cowan is between those two. He's fifth and about four from the front, two in front of Lawlessness, and the trailer is still Big Thorn. They run past the half-mile pole. The finish line is the 16th pole, and here they are going into the far turn in the 14th, Smarty Jones with Caddo River in a high cruising speed. Caddo River leads by two lengths. Now make it two and a half. Now make it three. Now make it three and a half. Caddo River tries to get away at the top of the stretch. Martini, Blue, and Cowan are racing second and third. That's all for Hardly Swade. Next, it's Moonlight Strike and Big Thorn, and Caddo River is dominating at the top of the stretch. It is Caddo River. He has built up a six or seven length advantage. Cowan is racing in second, but Caddo Caddo River has leveled out, and he is running strongly to the wire. It is Caddo River, now double digits in front. Caddo River and the Smarty Jones, straight and strong. Caddo River won by 10. Cowan was second, maybe big. And it was a very, very impressive run by Caddo River. One, basically like he was expected to, and like a big favorite should, paying 320, 220, and 210. Cowan getting up for second after a troubled trip there in the first turn, 260, 220, and Big Thorn picking up the pieces for third, three dollars. So where does that put our thorough cappers in our own little separate thorough fan group standings in this contest? Well, we've started to sort ourselves out a little bit as we've got Robert Marks in first place still with $22.40 in winnings. Lori Ross takes sole possession of second with $18.30. Nick Costa comes in third with $15.60. John Caro dropped a couple of spots at $10.80. Both Stuart DeVoe and myself Getting on the board there with $3 and still bringing up the bottom are Nicole Newest, Mike Galamo, and Bob Gallander, all still looking to get off the schneid with no winnings as of yet. But as we've always said, folks, it is a marathon. It is not a sprint. And there are many races in this series to certainly make your big run in. And two of those races will be coming up very shortly on January 30th. The Holy Bull Stakes happening at Gulfstream Park and the Bob Lewis Stakes happening out at Santa Anita. And of course, to see where you stand among everybody playing in the contest or to get in on the contest yourself, all you got to do is go to thoroughbredracingchallenge.com. Again, thoroughbredracingchallenge.com. You'll get all the information there and you'll see where the standings are each and every week as we march forward on the Derby Trail and the Trail to the Triple Crown. Mm -hmm.